Hey everyone, I have a return. Peeps, have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, smash a bell, and of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts after this video is completely over. Okie dokie. Now, once again, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab something to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now in this video, once again, there will be an article. Now this will be a special video, because this is for all the AEW fans around the world. Let's kick it off. Okay, now I'm going to try my best to explain. Okay, AEW deal with Warner Brothers Discovery was originally believed to expire sometime this year, but that doesn't appear to be the case anymore. Interesting. The Wrestling is over newsletter is reporting that the deal expired on December 31st of 2024. Hmm. Okay. This means that AEW and Warner Brothers uh, Discovery have reached in a new agreement earlier this year. Both sides did reach an agreement for a new weekly series collide, I think I said that correctly, probably not, give the broadcasting network exclusive to AEW programming. So that is lovely. All the wrestling, you know, like, off the record, it, you know, WWE had their own streaming service, of course with Peacock, but streaming service is very, very popular. So might as well jump on a bandwagon, you know what I'm saying? Not well, not a bandwagon, but you know what I'm saying, AW fanatics. Now, all the information is down below if you are wondering how much is going to run. So, I don't know if you guys are going to do this or not do this. I just hopefully there's no commercials because for Peacock, if you watch W programming, it is a pain in the butt. You know, oh God, it's, a, it's awful. I hate it. But what can you do? You know, you can't even fast forward commercials. They give you like a little, you know, five, you know, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, you know, that kind of thing. And then the program resumes. So I hopefully they don't do that with AW and Warner Brothers. If so, that sucks. But I think if you pay more, you get no ads. That's kind of ridiculous, you know. So that's about it. And hopefully it's very good quality if you're gonna pay that kind of money you need to have good quality on your phone or your laptop or on your um tv i'm thinking you could stream it on any kind of game system you could do it same thing like you do it for um peacock i'm assuming you know that'd be kind of cool your travel game you say oh wow there's an aw pay-per-view you know, man i'm gonna miss it oh wow i have my phone i could stream it that way you know what i'm saying so hopefully it's for any mobile device, not just the the, um, the TV at home, you know. Because do you remember a little flashback? Sorry, a little flashback. Pay per view. Sorry, pay per views was what sixty bucks, and the uh, the show could have like two good matches, and other matches could be dog crap. Will you still pay for it? Absolutely, because you never know what's gonna happen. You know, I don't know why pay-per-views were so darn expensive back then. So I don't know how much they're going to charge for all the AEW fans. Well, it's it's on there. You could just check it out. Is anyone going to do it or not do it? You know, I'm just wondering, you know. So it's all about competition. Who has a better deal, you know, of the wrestling streaming service. So, and of course, they will never go on to Peacock because uh, that's the W thing, you know. They have a, a deal with NBC, so um, AEW had to work another agreement with another company, and then they could work with 
a streaming service. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully things pans out with them. So can you imagine the streaming service during the ad tour? Oh my gosh. I guarantee you the internet won't, won't be that as good as today's modern era, you know? So I try to explain it the best I can AEW fanatics, okay? I know I don't discuss AEW very often or very rarely, so probably a lot of you are very shocked I did this because it's something to do with the, a streaming service. That's all. Anyway, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts will be down below. Now, if you want to be a part of the show, that's fine. And then if not, don't worry about it. But hopefully someone out there want to reach out and be part of, the, of my guests of the Robert Show. We could discuss about anything. We don't have to discuss about strictly about wrestling. You know, we could discuss about other things. Have a good one and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Peace out and I'll see you tomorrow.